So there's three sections to the adapting and relating section, and the first one is going to be turf. So we're going to talk adapting and relating to different turfs. Now, we have three different types of turf. We have fast turf, we have slow turf, and we have medium turf. Now, different names for these. A fast turf can also be known as an early turf. A slow turf can be known as a late turf. And a medium turf is known as just a steady turf. Now, when we talk about the different turfs, even though high demographic and low demographic and student demographics, elderly, retiree, can normally generically be placed into one of these, it's not always the case. I know that I've gone into high demographic areas where I've had a lot of contact early, uh, and I've been in low demographic areas where I've had loads of contact late. So it's not necessarily just high dem, low dem, but this is uh, different types of turfs in the way of contacts. Okay, so when we talk about a fast or an early turf, that means we get a lot of contacts early. The reason why we say this might predominantly be lower demographics is because you get a few more unemployed people, maybe stay-at-home moms and stuff like that. Uh, and obviously you get a lot of people that are out of work. So with low and late turf, that means your contacts are increased late. And the medium means that you just have contacts throughout. A prime example from contacts throughout is maybe a Saturday day on field, or it could be, for example, a student area, so you get a lot of your students, part-time workers, shifting workers, throughout the day spaced out throughout. Cool, so when we talk about adapting and relating, so by managing turf, you can actually easily make sales by learning how to control your turf and manage your turf, how to adapt to it. So when we talk about adapting and relating to turfs, with my presentation, a lot of my presentations will stay the same depending on, um, obviously with slight adaptions and ads or removals depending on the customer. But obviously most of it, if I look on a wide scale of the last five years of doing it, it's pretty much the same presentation continuously depending on the campaign. My adapting and relating will come to maybe obviously when I talk to about my turf management. So with contacts early, what I need to do is I need to qualify quick. Because when you're getting a lot of early contacts, that means that if you're getting so many contacts throughout the day, you're not going to be able to prep out your 80 houses in time for that second lap around prime time if you're pitching every single customer, doing objection handles on every customer that you get, because a lot of them might be non-quality customers. So what you want to do is qualify quick. If you qualify early, like in the last segment we talked about of qualifying, what you can do is you can find out if they're a quality customer or not. If they're not, raise awareness, direct them towards the website, move on. If they're a quality customer, you can then present to them. What you also want to be doing is aiming, uh, aiming for probably with a low contact, you're probably going to be aiming for around 100 houses. The reason for this is if you're in a high contact turf, that normally means you might be in a more lower demographic turf early on. Uh, and what you want to do is you need to make sure you have enough houses that have quality customers at the end. So you want to qualify quick and then make sure you're getting around your 100 houses. And you might then do two to three laps around the 100 houses. You might only get maybe two laps in with this section, so that's absolutely fine. Two laps around 100 houses, that's fine. Uh, with low and late turf, what you want to be doing is warming up your pitch on anyone that you kind of see. So with it being late contact in your first lap, obviously what you want to make sure is that you're actually warming up your presentation. If you go and qualify with every single person, by the time it comes to your quality customers, you haven't actually warmed up your pitch. So because it's only going to be sparsely, like every couple of houses, you, like every I don't know, 10 houses you might get a contact, you want to just warm up on those customers just so you can keep nice and fresh. Even if they're a lower to non-quality customer, just warm up that first piece to keep it nice and fresh. What you want to be doing is maybe doing 80 houses and then doing three laps around that, even sometimes four laps. When you're in a higher demographic, say, percent, or a late turf, when you're getting low contact, there's no point knocking to 100 houses, because as soon as that contact picks up in prime time, you're not gonna have a time to get around, you're not gonna maximize it. So what you wanna do is maybe cap at 80. Uh, if you're a really high quality salesperson, maybe even 60, but obviously 80, I'd say, is a recommendation. And you'd wanna do three, maybe even four laps around that 80 to make the most out of that when the contacts start picking up later on. Uh, and medium and stay turf, what you want to be doing is a mix between warming up and qualifying. Because you don't want to be wasting your energy throughout the day, obviously. So you want to be warming up on those first couple, then you're qualifying. If you've been qualifying on two to three houses, then you might even just warm up on that next one, even if it's a lower quality to non-quality customer, just to keep nice and fresh. This is where you're going to be doing pretty 80 to 100 houses, and you're going to be doing two to three laps. 
What you also might do to adapt and relate in these is see where you're actually gonna take your breaks. Now, breaks for me, we I, I, even today I had the discussion, I never used to normally take breaks. There is a time and a place for them, but sometimes you need a little bit of energy rebuttal, obviously, then uh, breaks are good. So when you're in a faster and early turf, what you might do is do 100 houses. Yeah, and what you might do is you might take a later break. So you might take your break a little bit later on, and it's just maybe a little short 10 minute one. Just a bit of food in, a little bit of energy, refocus on your goals, check your stats, call any type of custom, um, any agents that you have that you're training, and then get back onto that field. So you might take a later break of 10 minutes, because uh, that means you can make sure you get around your 100 houses. Uh, with a slow contact, what you might do is you might take a little break early. Because there's no point obviously waiting until around the prime time to take that break. What you might do is get around 80, and then what you might do is even do a little early break and then start your second lap early on those. So starting your second lap early allows you to grab some of the customers maybe coming back from picking up children and stuff from school. So you might get a little bit more contacts during that second lap. And then the third lap you can obviously maximize. And with medium breaks, you might take mini breaks throughout the day. So you might take, instead of taking one break of say 10, 15 minutes, you might take three breaks of five minutes just spaced out throughout the day to obviously go to the toilet, get a little bit of food, energy, once again, contact the people you need to. So this is how you can adapt and relate to different turfs by literally keeping an eye on your contacts as you go throughout the day on your walk sheet. What you can know is whether you should extend uh, or whether you should obviously start a second lap. So have a look, if you've got low contacts, Start a second lap early, get around there quicker. There's no point, obviously, if you're, for example, you're gonna take a break at 4.30 with some of you guys. If it's 4.15 and you've got to 80 and it's low contact, don't just sit around for 15 minutes doing everything. Start an early second lap and then you can continue that second lap afterwards. The more doors you're knocking, the more contacts you're making, so on. Um, so what you can do, yeah, with contact that's early on, make sure you're qualifying those customers early, so you're saving your energy. Extend out to 100 houses to make sure you've got enough there to cover. Uh, if you're unsure about if your turf is that, call your leader, say, look, I'm on 80 houses, it's this time, this is how many contacts I've got, should I do a second lap or should I extend for a bit? And they'll be able to t let you know, but very easy. If you're getting a high contact, extend out to 100, low contact, keep it down to 80, and medium turf, take many breaks throughout, qualify and warm up as you go. And that's adapting related to turfs.